Karina Smirnoff, please join the synergy. Being a competitor for many years myself and uh, being judging for a few years now as well and, and seeing the different aspects of our business, of ballroom dancing, I think when I judge, I always look for technique, I look for quality, I look for the package. I believe the package is very important. So the dress, the way they look, the hair, the makeup, how they present themselves on the floor. I believe that you have to be courteous to your other competitors. So I look for floor craft and how they you know, handle themselves on the dance floor. But I, I believe of myself as a fair judge. Um, and uh, you know, hopefully the, the right man and woman wins. I always believe that when you teach a couple, you have to give them one positive for every one negative. So obviously they're there to hear your constructive criticism and how they can get better. So they're not there to hear your compliments, but you want to make sure that their ego and self-esteem is still baby, and that you allow them to feel good about certain step, so then you can concentrate on the step that you have to fix. But uh, I'm, I'm relatively strict. I think I'm the sweetest and the kindest, but then my couples let me know otherwise. <laughs> well, so you think you can dance is about celebrating any style of dance. And of course, Dancing with the Stars started off being mostly a ballroom show, and now we've implemented Bollywood, hip hop, contemporary. So it has changed over the period of the last 19 seasons. But we know each other, all dancers know each other. Dancers are a very unique breed. We, uh, we want big, huge, and very dysfunctional family. But it is a family nonetheless. <laughs> Absolutely, I think dancing has been in the forefront of entertainment industry for years with Ginger Rogers, Fred Astaire, Arthur Murray, Sid Cherise, one of my favorites for many years. Um, and then it kind of took the back seat um, and, you know, acting, singing, uh, that became more prominent and dancing usually was used as a backup act. But because of shows like So You Think You Can Dance and Dancing with the Stars, um, I believe that dancing has come to the forefront again. And, People don't look at dancers as just dancers. Oh, they dancers. They actually look at dancers as artists, which I believe this is exactly what we're doing. Because everyone can do a combination of steps, but not everybody can tell a story with their bodies, and that's what dancers do.